YouTube, and welcome to another episode of Let's Learn the Mod. Uh, this is episode two for Tinker's Construct. Last time we covered um, basic parts and all the enchants and abilities of some basic items and whatnot. So today we're going to be focusing on the metal portion and tier two um, weapons and tools, as well as um, casting them with metal and such. So to start off, um, you need a smeltery. A smeltery is used to melt down all metal ores and whatnot. It doubles up all your ores. So if you, um, that's the earliest form probably that you can double up your ores without touching on, say, industrial craft or thermal expansion, whatnot. So to start off, you need a three by three area. You then fill it with seared bricks. Then you need only one controller. You cannot have more than one controller. You then have at least one seared tank. This holds lava. All ore and ingot melting or block melting requires uh, a certain amount of lava. So just plop down a tank. You can have as many as you want or as little as you want, just as long as you have one. Then you just do that, 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 and that. Now this can be one high. You can make the entire thing literally one high. So if I wanted to, I could just replace this all with drains and then put casting tables down below and it would work just fine, but we're just going to do it too high. Now you, d you don't have to have um, the entire row filled up with drains, I'm just doing that. And then just finish it off here. And that's your smeltery, so all you'd have to do is get a bucket of lava. Um, you can pump in lava via build craft, ender tanks, um, it's really up to you. You can get all the lava you want from the nether. Um, or you could just find it in the overworld, but somehow you have to get lava in here, um, be it buckets or pipes or whatever. So just fill that up, and then to melt down your ore, you just fill it up. It'll melt down your ore, turn it into um, turn it into liquid of what you have, and then you can um, drain it. Now to I'll, I'll teach about draining in a little bit. Um, so to start off. Here's some automation with um, with the smelteries. This is using an applied energistic system and um, a redstone clock from Extra Utilities. So basically what happens is you connect this DME system. You can use um, import buses to take all the ingots and um, blocks you make out of, this, um, out of the smeltery and into there. Hoppers will remove anything that is casted um, and then the hoppers will go along here and then put in the chest. To put the hoppers like I did, you just shift um, right click onto the chest and then you, uh, behind it you shift right click and whatever you want to attach it to. That'll kind of lead it down the line into one area or multiple areas. It really doesn't matter. In this case, I used three chests. Um, you could connect them all into one chest. It doesn't really matter. Um, redstone clocks pulse redstone constantly. So it, it causes the seared faucets to um, drain liquid. Um, casting basins are for um, making blocks, and then you have the ingot cast, which just make ingots. Um, if you're going to have a system with multiple types of ore, I would advise not using casting basins because, as you can see, we have multiple casting basins with like half full amounts of liquid. Um, so you might run into some trouble there. Now let's just throw some ore in so you can kind of get an idea of. Um, what the automation does. We'll come back to that in a bit. As you can see, we have 36 blocks, 25 blocks of iron, 175 gold ingots, and 285 iron ingots. And here's our ore. Okay, and let's say you don't want to use applied energistics for whatever reason or, or the redstone clocks. What you can do is just not needed. What you can do is set up a basic vanilla redstone clock um, which is right here. You then just apply some redstone. Make sure that there are um, different delays. That's how you um, create a clock. It basically delays it so it keeps going around in a circle without actually filling up the entire thing with just one constant redstone signal. So we just plop down a redstone signal, remove it, and then as you can see it's pulsing, which will cause the, um, the liquid to come out. See, we're getting liquid into the thing and then that's basically how you would automate it if you 
strictly wanted to do vanilla, you would throw stuff in your hoppers here, and then it would um, remove it from here. This also works for that ingot cast and whatnot, and then it'll all come down to this line. I have it all connected from one hopper. So we got Agnellian blocks and gold. Okay, so now let's get started on um, casting parts of tools and whatnot. So to get started with that, um, you need aluminum brass or gold to, to make a cast. You'll melt it down in here. As you can see, we already have gold in here. Um, for aluminum brass, you need like one copper and three aluminum. That will create aluminum brass. And then you can use that as a cast as well. It's up to you, whichever you seem to have the most of, I would advise using. So to get started, let's put that in there. As you can see, we've got a tough tool rod cast. This is part of a hammer. Um, so we're basically going to be making a hammer right now. So we got a stone tough tool rod. Then we'll get a, a large plate. Large plates are required for, um, for the hammer as well, as well as a hammer head. Okay, so now we want to cast it. Since we already have gold in here, let's plop that off. We take this, and then we can put the stone hammer head down, and it'll um, create the cast for us. Okay, we got the cast. Then we take the tough tool rod, oh, sorry, tough tool rod, cast that with gold. Now, I believe they cast um, each take two gold. Material cost doesn't really matter for this. Material cost matters when, um, when you're making the actual part. Okay, so now we got all of our cast. So let's go look to see um, what exact amounts of materials we need. To, to look at the materials you need or cast the, t um, the tech two um, weapons and um, tools, you need a thing called a tool forge. You can't use the, the basic um, crafting tool thing that we used last time. You need the tool forge to do basically any metals or tier two weapons. So as you can see, we got some new tools and a new weapon, oh, new couple of weapons. We have the hammer here, which is two tool plates, are um, two plates, one hammerhead, and one tough tool rod. As you can see, we just casted those casts. Um, this mine's in a three by three area. It'll do ores and um, and stone and whatnot, but it won't do it to like gravel or dirt. Um, this also won't do a three by three area of obsidian unless you're actually hitting one obsidian. It'll only do a three by three area if you're hitting the obsidian first. You can't put it like a cobblestone in the middle and then expect it to break obsidian. It used to be able to do that like I think in 1.5.2 but he changed that pretty quickly. Then you got the lumber axe which is essentially tree capitator. Um, this is made from this, 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 and this. But we covered this last time so I'm not going to be going through all the parts. You got the excavator which is essentially the hammer but for dirt, gravel, sand, um, you name it. Um, scythe which is to get rid of grass. Essentially uh, the like the red power scythe. Um, that's what this does. It can also be used as a tool, but it's not that great. You then have the cleaver, which is specifically for beheading and blocking. Um, this is for if you're farming like wither skeletons and you need their heads. You have the battle axe, which is an area of effect with a knockback and a block. All right, so let's make our hammer. Let's go over here. I believe I already have iron um, in here. No, no, I don't. So let's melt down some iron real quick. Let's move this and some of this iron. Okay, toss that in there and then give it some lava. And then we'll just wait on um, the ore to melt. Um, you can also cast your um, your older tier one tools like the, um, the pickaxe. As you can see, we have the casts for the pickaxe all lined up. Um, but we're going to be doing a hammer. So as before, we'll need two large plates, one tough tool rod, and one hammer head. So let's just wait on this, and then we'll get started. 
down a, a hopper in case we might need some more. Probably not, but who knows. Oh, I'm missing a faucet there. Okay, good. That task's done. So let's cast this. Now, you don't have to make this strictly out of iron like before we mixed and matched parts. Um, if you missed that episode, you can um, check out episode one of Tinker's Construct where I um, described in detail about the parts and, um, and, and adding different abilities to them like luck and whatnot. So we need one more hammer head, our plate. Alright, and let's break this. And if you ever, for some reason, want to get rid of all the, all, um, the metal inside, um, don't even want to bother casting it or whatever, you can always just destroy the controller and it'll spit everything out um, that was in it before, but it will destroy all the, the liquid. So I'm actually going to put two things in here real quick. It's going to be, um, we're going to put alumite in here. Or, sorry, not alumite, um, ardite. We're going to put ardite in here, which is found only in the nether. Um, so we're going to put ardite in here as well as some cobalt, which is also only found in the nether. Um, you can always cast um, different alloys. Like, say, as you know, copper and tin make bronze. So if you put copper and tin in at the same time, keep in mind that you're probably going to get a lot of bronze out. So keep that in mind when you're making a smeltery. Um, the metals can actually combine. So actually let's do that. And it, um, for things like cobalt and ardite, it doesn't always just double it up. Um, in fact, its alloy um, makes only one ingot um, per cobalt plus ardite. So keep that in mind when you're doing that. All right, I, I believe it's one or two. So let's make our hammer. Uh, same as before, just take the, take the parts here and then take our two plates. There we go, we got a hammerhead. Reinforced one because iron provides reinforce. Um, for different metals, ardite, um, pure ardite has like stone bound, um, I believe Manilian is like green force or something. Let's, let's see. Add Tinker's Construct. Oh, also, if you ever want to search a specific mod, just do at sign and then the name of the mod. And that'll allow you to, um, to search that specific mod's items. Let's look in the, the Mighty Smelting. This, this has pretty much all the alloys, I believe. Okay, so as you can see here, we get two Cobalt, two Ardite which makes one manillion, which is essentially um, one or each, which makes it a manillion. You can make alamite and whatnot. This is good for early on getting cobalt and ardite. You can't get cobalt and ardite without um, at least alamite. Um, even diamonds don't really melt it. And this isn't telling me anything. Actually, yeah. Um, yeah, this is basically what I wanted you guys to see. Um, it doesn't say the abilities, so let's see. It might be in the other book. Okay, here we go. So here's the basic abilities. You get bronze, you get all this. You get reinforce from bronze, um, which is essentially uh, more durability. Reinforce for steel, level 2. Um, you get pig iron, which is reinforce level 1. I believe this is made from literally just pig meat and iron. Um, yeah, I think that's all it really tells me. I, I know for, oh, here we go. So Manilian, um, essentially a ton of durability, um, really fast and whatnot. So this is a good overall ingot. Um, copper, decent. Um, then we get cobalt, which is reinforced. Um, if you're if it's between cobalt and ardite, you are um, cobalt and manilian, you're gonna want to use manilian. 
Um, but Ardite is special. Um, uh, if you make a tool rod, say, out of Ardite and whatnot, and you make the rest of the hammer out of Manilian, this is a really strong tool because it has a lot of durability. On top of that, it has Stonebound, which I covered in the last video. Um, all right, so this should be done melting. So let's show you this. Now, as you can see, we didn't put a ton of cobalt and Ardite in there, but we're getting Manilian out now, which is a really good item. Uh, probably the best, I'd say. And then let's do two plates out of Manilian, and then we're going to do a, a tool rod out of Ardite. We might have enough with this. We'll see. Actually, maybe, maybe not. Uh, not quite enough. So let's do a little Ardite. Let's see. I believe this was three. So what we're going to want to do is do that. This will have an extra Ardite, um, but we'll just combine it with Manilian or Cobalt to make Manilian. And we can probably melt all this. We'll just be quick about um, about getting the Ardite thing so it doesn't fuse. All right, and we're almost done. And let's get rid of the rain. Let's cast this. Come on. There we go. All right. Now we just wait on the, um, the cobalt and, ar um, and the rest of the Ardite. So we got our um, Ardite rod. And y if you already had like a bit of Manilian in here and you spam right click the thing, it won't go unless Manilian's about to drop into it. You can't do part iron and part Manilian. It just won't work. It won't even let you do it, as you can see. Okay, and there we go. Got our hammer done. Oh, should be done in a second. I think we just ran out of Manoli and that's it. Okay, cool. So we got that. So let's take the hammer. And okay, so all my items fell on the ground. So let's cheat them in. <laughs> Okay, so let's make the, we said two plates out of Manilian and then one Ardite rod. Ardite tough tool rod. Where are you? There we go, Ardite tough tool rod. So go to a hammer like before. And as you can see, this is a ridiculous hammer and this can be upgraded as um, just the same as any other item. You can also make the, the hammer head out of paper. Um, I found that um, paper here, two plates, and one tough tool rod is actually better than doing like the entire top out of Manilian. It's really up to you on what you prefer. So there we go. And we got so, an insane hammer. Um, obviously this is extremely expensive. Cobalt and Ardite is pretty rare. So um, I wouldn't go like losing this in lava or whatnot. And you can always repair this in here. Um, all you'd need is Manilian, and then you're pretty much set. So that's it for today. I pretty much covered everything for Tinker's Construct. I'm probably gonna start um, another mod on the next episode, so look forward to it. I'm thinking about either Applied Energistics since we touched on it today. Oh, and speaking of which, let's go check on this. See, as you can see, all the ore and um, was taken out of there and put into ingots or block form. So, I'll see you all later, and have a good day.